In this lesson, we're going to do something incredibly cool and exciting. We're going to start composing our very own rhythms. And you might say, well, that sounds incredibly difficult. Well, I'm here to say it's definitely not difficult. It's really, really easy. And in fact, we've already covered everything we need to know in order to do it. We can already measure how long or short a sound is supposed to be in a piece by counting out its length in beats. And so to make our own rhythm, all we need to do is put a few of these different sounds together and then we can fill a period of time that we decide with some sounds, with some music. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. So I've drawn out this little diagram here and that's supposed to represent a piece of music that lasts for 16 beats. So it's a really short piece of music. Most pieces of music maybe last for hundreds of beats or thousands of beats. But here we're just going to work with something simple and I suppose that the easiest rhythm we could write for this period of 16 beats would be a sound that just lasted all the way through from the beginning of the period, so the first beat right the way to the last beat, to the 16th beat. So I'm going to try and draw a line up here to represent a sound that's covering all of this this time here. Okay, there we go. So this is probably the simplest way to fill 16 beats of music. Now how much time are we talking about here? Well, at the moment I haven't set a speed of beat to play at, so it could be any period of time. But to make it easy, I'm going to use what we call a metronome mark of 60. And if you remember, the metronome helps us to set up a beat in our minds. And this is a really convenient one because, as you'll remember, if we have a beat of 60 beats per minute, it means that we're going to have a beat every second. So now we know that this piece of music is going to last for 16 seconds, or somewhere around 16 seconds. Obviously, I'm not a, a metronome, I'm not a machine, so when the music says you're going to play at 60 beats per minute, you're just going to try and get some somewhere in, near to that figure. You're not trying to be like a robot or be like a machine. So let's turn on our metronome to remind ourselves what a beat of 60 beats per minute sounds like. Great, so there we have the metronome ticking away at 60 beats per minute. It actually feels quite slow. When you think of seconds, you always think of seconds ticking away quite quickly, but when you really sit and listen to them, it almost feels like they go quite slowly. Okay, let's have a go. Let's have a go at playing this sound that's going to last for 16 beats in the music. But first I'm going to stop the metronome. So we, we, we've got the idea of the beat into our heads now, so we're going to stop the metronome from ticking. Now the metronome's off, we can go about starting to play this piece of very simple music and this very simple rhythm. Now on my keyboard I've got a string sound and you can imagine a section of string players just bowing away on their instruments without ever finishing the sound that they're playing and that's really helpful for us today because I want to play sounds that last for a very very long time. Imagine if you asked a trumpet player to play a note that lasted for an infinitely long amount of time they'd eventually go well first of all they go purple and then they'd go green and then I think they go blue I think that's the order of the colors but anyway a trumpeter has to breathe um, most of the time anyway they have to breathe in order to keep well keep being alive but also to keep their music going whereas string players obviously can keep the bow moving on their instrument all the time and so they can play sounds that last for in theory in last for they last forever before i start playing the piece of music the 16 beat piece of music i'm going to do something called count in and counting is really important especially if you are playing with other people because the purpose of counting in is to set the idea of the beat up in everybody's head so that everyone's got the same idea of the beat going before they start to play together because obviously if everyone has a slightly different idea of the speed of the beat the music's going to be all over the place because people won't be able to play sounds that match up or play sounds that fit together. Now most of the time we, we count in with numbers so you might have heard a jazz band uh, conductor count in by saying a one and a two and a one two three four and that's exactly what they're doing they're giving the idea of the beat they've got in their heads and because they're the conductor they're in charge so they get to choose how fast or slow the beat's going to go um, I suppose today I'm in charge so I got to choose that the metronome marking for this piece was going to be 60 beats per minute and by counting in in this way so by just simply saying one, two, three, four. We're able to let everyone who's, who's playing this piece and, and anyone who might be listening to the music get an idea of how fast or slow it's going to go. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to count us in and I'm going to try and remember what it felt like to hear the metronome going at 60 beats per minute. And then I'm going to count in for four of those beats. That's enough time really for everyone to get an idea of how long 
uh, a beat is going to feel like in the music and then I'm going to start playing and for the purposes of everyone listening I'm going to count along as well so try and follow it on our nice little graph here as I'm counting along through the 16 beats and it'll feel like a long time but ultimately I'm just playing a sound that starts at the beginning on beat one and lasts all the way through to the end of beat 16. Okay so here we go so I'm just trying to remember what the metronome felt like it was slower than slower than perhaps I thought it would sound which is silly really because the metronome always knows best okay so it was something like that I think tick 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 nice and reliable and very relaxed so I'm going to count in for four beats and then I'm going to start playing my 16 beat notes so here we go one two three four one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen and that's it that's our very first rhythm it's an incredibly boring rhythm because it only involves one note but it's a very simple rhythm because um all we're doing is we're, we're making sound last continuously throughout the whole piece of music music gets significantly more exciting if we have lots of different sounds that uh, break up the music into an interesting pattern one really important thing to notice is that i didn't stop playing the note as soon as i got to 16 and that's because we still have to play for the 16th beat so if you look at when i'm counting this is me counting one, two, three. Now, when I get to 16, we haven't actually got to the end of our period of time yet. We've still got one more beat to go. So if I stopped when I got to 16, I would have only been playing for 15 beats. And that's a really important thing to remember, that even though we've got to our last number that we're going to count, we still have one more beat's worth of time to play in the music. But anyway, that was really boring. So let's try and do something a lot more exciting. Well, not a lot more exciting, a little bit more exciting. Imagine we wanted to have a piece that included just two sounds and some space. Sometimes in music, the most fantastic bit of the music is when everything stops. And so we're going to do that now. And we're going to include two sounds in our piece of music. One that starts the piece that lasts for four beats. And then we're going to have a space of four beats. So something in music we might call a four beat rest. And then we're going to have another sound that lasts for four beats and then another four beat rest. So let me just update my graph to show this new rhythm. Okay, there we go. This new rhythm should look something a little bit like this. So we've got our first sound, which is going to start the piece off, which lasts for four beats. Then we've got four beats worth of gap. There's nothing here. And then we're going to play another sound that starts on the ninth beat and lasts for four beats. And then we're going to have a final four beats worth of nothingness to finish the piece off and that's something quite important is actually even if nothing's going on in the music the beat always carries on going and that's what I really meant by saying that the beat is always ticking away underneath all the music we play even if everybody's stopped playing there's nothing going on at all the score is just blank the score is nothing but rests it doesn't matter the beat carries on going all the time and so this rhythm will hopefully really remind us of that so let's count in and play this new 16 beat rhythm let's go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And so it's as simple as that. And I reckon there's lots and lots of different ways that I could fill in this 16 beat pattern of time. And I really hope you might like to have a go at doing it for yourself. So let's just have a go. Let's improvise. Let's improvise a rhythm. So here's my here's my 16 beats. And I'm going to put in some sounds that are going to last for different numbers of beats. I'm going to have to do a little bit more complicated counting. But say I want to do something like uh, one beat, one beat, two beats. One beat, one beat, two beats two beats two beats one beat one beat two beats right if you're ready i'm ready so we're going to fill this period of 16 beats hopefully with something that's a little bit more interesting there's more going on and there's more sounds happening in the music but they still add up to the same amount of time so this piece of music is still exactly the same length of time um, as it was before because we haven't changed the speed of the beat and we've still got 16 beats worth of sound happening in our little diagram here so uh, let's have a go 
and count in. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Now, I'm absolutely convinced that anyone could come up with far, far more exciting and interesting rhythms than I have come up with here. And it's very, very easy to do because all you need to do is get a piece of paper and draw a line on it and divide it up into how many beats you'd like to have in your piece of music. And it doesn't have to be 16. It could be 12 or it could be 32 or it could be 64. Often multiples of four work very well, but so do multiples of three. Um, and so you can create your own rhythms. And when you've done that, come back and we'll have a look at rhythm in a little bit more detail. <laughs> 